We met in the first week of the first year, and effectively from that point, my fate was sealed. One thing we always wanted was our own practice. I think it was 90, November 99, and she said, it was a very brief message saying, I found it, this is the one. I thought, okay, what have you found? So it was a um, shop in a particularly dilapidated state, but we threw open the doors uh, on the 4th of April 2000, hence the term Millennium Dentistry. And it was a little three surgery practice, not a huge amount to shout about, but it was bright, it was colorful, and it got the town's focus. We groom at an exponential rate we rapidly realized that we need to expand here. So we went from three surgeries into a five surgery practice. I shan't kid you, the journey was full of blood, sweat and tears. And I emphasize the word tears. And this made us think, okay, what are our long-term goals, not only for us as a family, but also for our practice. Eventually we came to the decision, we'll move it on, but you know, we don't want to just move our practice on, we want to be there. For our patients who've given us everything, we want to still be there for as long as we can actually be useful. We started looking for agencies. We went through a few agencies and to say it was a minefield would be not an understatement, but a uh, significant understatement. My first experience of the sales process was, like I said, getting in uh, companies to value the practice, to give us an indication of what we might expect. And the first agency I went to, uh, I do regret now because sadly, they were a jack of all trades and sadly a specialist of none. It rapidly became apparent that you really need a specialist in here. So we went to another agency who were claiming to be a specialist agency. Great. To start off was great. The interactions were wonderful. The valuations that they were coming up with, you know, this is great, very good. Uh, but then we went through a period of deathly silence. We heard nothing. So we did get individuals in. Sadly, they were more the type of individual who was looking to get a good deal on a secondhand car than it was to take over a business and a livelihood. And this is when the penny dropped that there were a number of corporates coming to us and going out like a revolving door. I think it was back in December 2019 or early 2020, I got an email uh, from FTA. Nothing to do with practice sales, nothing like that, but it was, if you're interested, come down to a motoring event, come down to a supercar event held at Greypool in Nottingham. Me being me with my supercar addiction problem, Thought to myself, this sounds like fun. So I walked through the door, introduced him, myself and who I was. And in there, there were a couple of guys, uh, dentists, about four or five uh, guys. And, and there was also uh, Andy and Chris. I, I got talking to a couple of the dentists, then I got talking to Andy. We were discussing cars and then I, I asked a little about FTA. Had an interesting conversation about how we were going to move our practice on, but nothing was happening. We hadn't, hadn't had much luck with the previous agents. This, you know, prodded and poked a little bit more, saying, well, why? You know, what was it about the other agents? And where did things go wrong? You know, what were you looking at? We had a conversation. I left the, the uh, event, all smiles, full of pictures of cars and uh, Andy's number. I rang up and uh, we had a very lovely, long, in-depth, in interesting conversation over the phone. And then I said to Andy, I said, look, we want to move the practice on. Where do we start? Andy said, look, let me do some work on the figures and what you've sent, and I'll come up with an idea. My God, that man came up with the idea right down to the last penny. And I think it was something like 56p at the end. And I thought, yeah, how, how did you come to that? It wasn't a number plucked out of the air. It was a science. And clearly a, a well thought out science because the breakdown of it was fantastic as to exactly how you get to that figure. It's not a question of, we'll test it at this, if it doesn't sell at that, we'll drop it down a bit, drop it down a bit, drop it down, we won't, it, no, there was none of that. And that instantly filled me with confidence. The feedback they'd get from the potential purchaser was instant, which gave me a great heads up, so I knew a lot more about my practice in terms of the sale of it. FTA got me 
a buyer who I could work with, a buyer who I saw the practice's future with, my staff's future with, and most above all, my patient's future with, and myself and Aradna's future with. So one of the agents that got an offer from one of the corporates, as I mentioned earlier, to put it into cold, hard money terms, the difference I would say would have been £685,000, so knocking on £700,000. Now, it, if, if it was £700, that's neither here nor there, but £700,000 to throw away the jewel in our crown that we created our first baby to think we could have gone down that way and had we accepted that offer. I still think about it and yes, I get a chill down my spine thinking, oh God, it could have all gone horribly wrong. But thankfully it didn't. Because of FTA's involvement, it could have been a very, very different story had I not had FTA guiding me through the sale and achieving that sale. It's freed us up financially a lot. I'm not going to dispute that for a second. We've managed to make a number of home improvements that we've always wanted to make. We've had a tremendous amount of real quality time with our family, with all our children. And our daughter, who can't communicate very effectively, but you can see in her eyes the inner peace that she has now, that she has mum and dad's full attention. You know, they do their work, they come home. We've got mum and dad. We've, I've been very fortunate in meeting another individual who dropped into our lives about 12 months ago, who I now have a totally different business venture with. It is a uh, salary access scheme. It involves a employee allowed a certain percentage, up to a certain percentage of their own earned wage as and when they need it without interest charge, without any other charges other than a simple access charge, uh, which is £1.69. They're not going to go into debt for it. There's no screaming high interest rates. It's their money. My Also, with the same chap, because he's so good with property, we've managed to acquire a historic building in Paynton, opposite the train station, which we are going to redevelop. And with access to affordable housing, again, which is desperately needed. Had I been a principal, it's something I probably couldn't have got into, not only through financial constraints, but also um, diversification, because I need to run my practice. But now I have that freedom to fly, really, and spread my wings in another area.